rolled him. He rolled him. Good shot, they are. <laughs> here we go to F.E. Hill Ranch in Texas. Uh, me and John and Jr. have been here before. Dang, that is some fine hunting, let me tell you. Oh, it's in the air in Texas. We got some colors in Texas, ain't the brother John? Colors. Yeah, oh God, navigate the thing. A little behind us, yeah. for sure. Our legs are falling off. There, and just about in the perfect, yeah, picture taking stage. That's it. That camera's running more on the Trinity River. What a song. There they are. There's a deer. Way what? out there. We're seeing deer everywhere. We made it to Texas, y'all. I think it's gonna get good. It's gonna get good? Yes, yeah, so, okay. Yeah, you see that deer? Look, out there. Yeah. You saw it? Yeah, there's deer everywhere. I've been looking forward to going to Texas all year and it was finally time. What you gonna kill this one? Uh, hopefully a big buck. Hopefully a big buck. Alright, first morning hunt. Yeah, they are. You sure had a lot of confidence earlier before you got on that. <laughs> he did. He was, he was talking right. big. When you feel right. like they are, you just have to be humble sometimes. I'm ready right. for right. you, buddy. Right. As soon as you shoot something, I want you to send me a picture of it. In Texas, there's a lot of wildlife. We saw bucks, does, and even hogs. After the guide looked at the deer, it didn't have no brow tones. That wasn't quite the deer we were looking for, especially on the first day. Being from South Mississippi, when the deer walked out, I thought for sure he was a shooter. All right, first morning. The bucks went to hitting the plot at daylight, let me tell you. If y'all know me, I could have been limited out and sleeping late probably four minutes after shooting light. But my guide, and I'm sure proud he didn't let me, my guide didn't let me shoot. He said, we better wait. That's the between the buck. Yeah. Yes, sir.
we got two at the feeder now. I just don't think we're going to take one of them the first morning. I think one of them has a four year old deer. For sure. I guess we're going to hold up for the morning. We're still talking about it. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> y'all know me. I come out the gate shooting. <laughs> so I'll shoot the first morning. I will shoot the first 10 minutes. That's just the way I roll. But anyhow, a lot of deer here. A lot of one, one bigger deer that come through that didn't stay with us long. And uh, anyway, good, good, good start. Good start for sure. Yes, sir. That's the that's the eight that that's the eight that actually got. That way up there. Yes, sir. I, I think that's the eight that got out here by that doe. Mm -hmm. He looks like the same buck, but I mean, man, how pretty is that? That's beautiful. That's from Green Man coming to the left over there. Oh my gosh. Abraham, that's what they're looking at. That's exactly, and he's going to run all your deer off. The hogs started coming, and let me tell you, in Texas, I guess it's like everywhere else. When them hogs come to the feeder, the deer are gone. I mean, you'd see the hog coming in a line running, you'd see the deer hot-tailing it the other way. We get some good footage, you know, we kill one. But, I mean, it's going to run the deer off, but I think the deer are coming back. Personally, but um, I think they will too. That that's just my experience here. I, I hate to shoot a guy. Yes, sir. All right, now my guide, he wasn't no stranger in Texas, and he knowed a lot about hunting Texas. He knowed about hunting the hogs. He knowed how the deer was gonna react. Uh, hogs come running in, deer left. And Billy told me he said, "If you go ahead and take one of the hogs out." As early as it is, they're gonna be deer coming back in. Do you think after I shoot, the blood from a hog and all that, we're gonna still get deer back? He said, I promise you. Just one thing, back to the left by itself. Yes, sir. You want it? Uh, but whichever one you want to shoot, I'm gonna have to go on. I'm gonna try that one. Yes, you ready? Yes, sir. Showing up. I popped one, one of the sows. He did run off. It was not 20 minutes, just like Billy said, that deer coming right back to the feet. First morning here, got here, the deer was here by daylight. Uh, me and Billy talked about it, he said they're gonna be back every day. We're gonna go back to camp, show some footage of some of what we saw, see what those guys think about them. Just had an awesome, awesome morning hunt. So morning one in the books, F.E. Hill Ranch, Texas. Let's see what we're gonna do this evening. Well, it's always a good time at F.E. Hill Ranch, and John, he always had plenty for us to do. Uh, the boys, they'll be outside playing football at night. They have a campfire, and then the big deal there is they got a shooting range right on the back porch. So the guys at F.E. Hill, they like shooting long range, and they start you out first sighting your rifle in at 100 yards. 
making sure it's on. And I got a 200, a 300, and even a 500 yard shot. We're going to see if JR can make the steel plane. Got the coach coming up here. Got the JR. Okay, he's got a, the safety on. We got one in the chamber. He's 11 years Zoom old. That scope in. And we're going to get the camera. you like the shot? Yeah. Can you see it well? Yeah. Camera is, is on the target. So we're going to take our to, time. I want you to, when you get there, when you get ready to shoot, just, just pull that trigger and let the, let the shot surprise you. Don't squeeze it. Just lightly pull her in, just like you did earlier. Got the 500. Yeah, he's in the 500 club now. Yeah. I yeah. think we might have to do that on a dope. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I think uh, we might go back for a beer can. Good job, there, brother JR. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. That's what's up. Alright, here we are, brother John, getting up to the gun. What are we shooting, John? Uh, six Bagara. Our Bagara Pro. Bagara Pro. Bagara Pro. Bagara Pro. Bagara Pro. Five hundred with the hawk. The hawk scope, he said. Under it is. Way over under five hundred yards, y'all. Yeah. 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 Big John and Little John ready to go out there and stretch the legs. Is that gun kick, Daddy? Come on, oh, come on now. <laughs> so we're sitting around talking, and, and Sam comes walking up. He got this long gun, you know. Oh, what is that, Sam? He said it's a 22 Creedmoor. I said, "Well, you shoot with that?" He said, "Well, we can shoot coyotes with it. We kill deer with it." He said, "It's a it's a small round, like a 75 grain or something." He said, "It's a bad round." I said, "Yeah." I said, "How does it do at 500?" He said, "I can freehand 500." I said, you, you, because I was impressed, me and John and JR shooting 500 propped up, you know. He said, oh yeah, I can shoot 500. I said, I got to see it. All right, here he is, free-handed. It's going to be a mess. You can't see that over there, that's 500 yards. And now he, he's backing up. Now he's backing up. How about missing? We ain't got no misses. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? That man himself right there, 500 yards, free-handed. What well, they say, a blind squirrel finds another he wants to he ain't, he ain't, he ain't, that ain't right now. He just told me, you know what you're shooting? This is a 22 Creedmoor. 22 Creedmoor. Horizon Firearms. Dang it, boy. Cool little toy, isn't it? That is one bad boy. I could lock it in a vise and miss it. I'm gonna show him how I can miss it. <laughs> Got brother Stubb on the 500. Yeah. My competition is pretty stiff, y'all. JR done hit it three times. We had Sam to hit it free handed. <laughs> and we got. Hey, is there? And we got John to hit it. So, here I am. I'm going to try it. See what I can do. You ready, brother John? Picking up the target right now. And we're, we locked in on the target. Ready for the team. Right there, you'll like that, y'all. I got the 500-yard club. Now it's time to head back out for the evening hunt and see if we can get one. Getting ready to roll. You ready? Yes, sir. First guy. Head out. We're in Fairfield, Texas, and we hunted this morning. We We had a unique stand that we hunted in off the ground. We pulled up on a hill with a side by side and brushed it in with some pine limbs. Well, John and the guys have probably got over a hundred different stands, but this particular afternoon, he said just trust him and ride with him on the side by side and we'd get it done.
pushing his dogs around. Hey, let him come. Okay, whenever you're ready, you can shoot him. Let him, let him stop running. Let him have to do it. Whenever you're ready, buddy, you pull the trigger. You're holding. You're holding. Good shot, they are. <laughs> Congratulations. That's fine. Look at here, bud. What do you think? That's the biggest one you ever killed? We're about to go walk up on your deer. What, you, what do you think about it? Man, like is that, is that worth waiting this morning and letting them spikes get out of there? Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you took him down. Well, let's do this. Um, unload your gun. And I know he's dead, but just good practice. Go ahead, rack you another shell in there. And throw that safety on us. Wherever you aimed, you put it on him good. That's all I know. Man, I love it when the plan comes together like that. Somewhere that they like get some good pictures and get some little video. That's good, man. Way to you, you take your time, too. I was excited walking up on the stair because I knew it was the biggest one I've ever taken. Wow. Man. <laughs> Look at that chocolate horn, man. What do you say? What else you say? Give God the praise. This is real South Hunt. I got my Texas buck the first afternoon, and this is the biggest buck I've ever killed. No word. Well, we learned from hunting over the years. You don't guide the guide. You just have to go where the guide tells you. And these guys know where the deer's at, and old Sam put us on one. Got one. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Golly. That's a good one. Dang it, boy. Yeah, that's a good one. 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 Yeah, And I hope y'all enjoyed this gold we did. This is a trio here that I always enjoy hunting with. Fine place to hunt. We got some meat down. JR got him a nice buck down. I got some pork. And Brother John done laid down some good footage. That dude has got awesome running his camera. Catch y'all right back next week. Same time, same place. Appreciate it.